A puppy hammer is any meteor hammer that, when worn in oxbow, is long enough to be used as poi, but is simultaneously short enough to clear the ground when spun in shoulder and off-body modes. For optimal experience, properly sizing this instrument is essential because it is based on the specific body proportions of the user. The tools you'll need are a measuring tape, calculator, electrical tape, scissors, a screwdriver, and a lighter. You'll also need the prop components. I'm making two tethers, one with smithy and one with phoenix rope, ovo heads, cartridges, ballast slugs, and node pills, with the screws to secure them. For the first step, we'll need both tapes and a calculator. Total length is calculated using wingspan. If someone can help you measure your wingspan, that's awesome, but if not, cut a piece of tape and stick it to a wall near some vertical reference like a corner. Place the palm of one hand against a wall with your fingertips on the ground and reach upwards with the other. Mark with your easily accessible tape and measure your wingspan. Total length is calculated by multiplying your wingspan times 1.472. I'll be rounding down. Now grab everything else. Let's put this puppy together. Tape one end of your tether to prevent fraying, then tie a knot, leaving a few inches of tail. Thread your tether through the head, open the cartridge, and secure it to the tether. Curling the tail makes it easy to insert. And slide your head over the cartridge. If you have various node colors, sequence them before threading them onto the opposite end of the tether. Lay your tether and measuring tape next to each other. Make sure everything is lined up. Tie a knot about three and a half inches less than the length calculated in step one. Clean up the excess rope, leaving another tail, and melt the ends of the smithy rope to prevent fraying. Attach your other head and cartridge, and split the nodes to their respective sides. How long should this thing be? Fold the prop in half to find the midpoint, and center that on the back of the neck. Wrap both ends of the prop forwards around the arm to wear in backside plus plus oxbow. Then pinch the tether between the thumb and forefinger, holding arms up making right angles at the armpit and elbow to cinch out the slack. Use the bottom of the elbow as a reference point. Meeting the top of the head gives longer poi, but needs more ground clearance. Meeting the bottom of the head allows for less ground strikes with shorter poi. Centered usually gives balance between ground strikes and poi length. In my experience, there are three body proportions relevant to puppy hammer. Let's consider the bottom of the square the ground. A square has equivalent height and wingspan. When you consider that the center point is usually spun around shoulder height, the scale model shows how an accurately sized hammer will have just enough ground clearance. A tall rectangle has a wingspan shorter than the height. Since the height of the shoulder increases, so does the amount of clearance. This means you can increase the length of the prop without increasing the risk of ground strikes. A long rectangle has a wingspan longer than the height. It requires the most precision when sizing to avoid ground strikes, as well as injury associated with overexertion in end range of motion. Basically, I don't recommend any length you have to hold higher than your head. However, if it's shortened too much, it can leave insufficient length for a usable point mode. Honing in your proper size often requires various attempts of adjusting, checking, and playing. The best feedback you can get about what sort of adjustment to make is by playing, so go play. Having a hard time getting your cartridges out for resizing? No worries. Use a marker or something similar to help push it out. Okay, so where exactly do these nodes go? First, size your shoulder nodes by measuring your newly sized hammer then folding the prop in half. Shoulder nodes are usually placed too close together. To calculate your bridge, multiply prop length by 0.155. Since we've folded the prop in half, we'll divide by two and round our answer. Place your nodes the previously calculated distance away from the fold of the hammer. Then set and tighten your screws. Wow, that was easy. Now size your point nodes. Note, usually the point nodes are placed too far down. Wear the prop in backside plus plus with a relaxed erect posture and palms forward. 
Slide the note up so the outer edge is in line with the top of the first thumb knuckle. Set your screw just enough to hold it in place and then repeat on the other side. Once again, fold your prop in half, making sure everything is lined up, then split the difference of the nodes and tighten the screws. Insert your preferred amount of ballast lugs into both cartridges. Clean up the tails from either end of your tether. And now you're ready to take your puppy for a spin. The most informative source of information for this video was the Hammer Maps Revision 5.3, and I recommend it to everyone. But here are my additional sources.